Hello, we're Maxton. I hope you enjoy our video. My name is Kit and I love everything creative. Hi, I'm Richard and I'm focusing on the electronics aspect of this project. Hi, I'm Callum. I really enjoy DT. I helped the design and built the prototype. Hello, my name is Rohan and since I like computing, I programmed our working prototype. Hi, I'm Jake. I live in the farm, so practical work has been crucial to me from a young age. My name is Bruce. I'm mainly focused on the research and I also did the sustainability of our project. So let's get right into it. In our team, we're very passionate about innovative ideas and technology. So when we noticed the brief, tomorrow's tech today, we instantly wanted to get started. Ideas immediately flooded in, such as an automatic scope for a rifle, solar panels on roof tiles, and we even had an idea to incorporate AI into luggage sorting systems in airports to make it more efficient. We knew from the start as well that no matter what ideas we chose, we had to research the market market thoroughly and keep in mind the different user groups. Since a healthy lifestyle is becoming more and more crucial in our lives, we decided to focus our products on fitness. Most athletes find doing sports with a performance measuring accessory uncomfortable and often inconvenient. To compensate for this, most don't even wear them, sacrificing the vital data. And so we decided to embed this track into an essential item of clothing, the insole. Our vision is creating an insole with this functioning tracker built in. Our mission is to research current technology in fitness trackers and investigate how to place a tracker into an insole whilst protecting it. So during our research, we found a Gucci product that allows you to scan your feet and um, it will create a digital version of a shoe which you can share with your friends. We thought that if this was precise enough, we could, you could scan your own feet and send the measurements to our factories which would create a tailored insole. The insole has four main materials. These were chosen because they are durable, lightweight, waterproof, tough and flexible. In the hope to encourage people of all ages to wear our fitness centred product, allowing them to stay healthy, we will include fun images on a selection of our products. An example of this is with children's glasses. You can get various different types of frames that children like. To communicate this, we made two examples, one depicting a princess and the other depicting a Spider-Man. In addition to designing the insole, we also wanted to include an electronic aspect into our modeling. Even from the start, we were eager to make a working step counter, something which none of us has done before, so it's a really fun challenge. We started with a crude mock-up of our final electronics model, just to test how the components work. We then progressed onto the final model, where we miniaturized the prototype by using a smaller microcontroller and powering it with a battery pack. Add all of these functions together and you get our insole. This is a hand-drawn illustration completed digitally, clearly shows our product. To help communicate our idea further, we also created a one-to-one -one prototype displaying how our insole will work. Following our previous success, we managed to get everything onto one board and miniaturize the whole thing. Now, when we tried to test it, we plugged it in using a faulty power cable, so now we basically broke the whole thing and had to start from scratch. However, this time we were running low on time and basically everything else. We still managed to come up with a decent prototype because we used our skills and expertise learned over the past couple of weeks and throughout the project. So this is our final prototype. Here's the accelerometer and here's the OLED display. In the middle is the Arduino. As you can see, it's not as a high standard as our other prototype, but this is what we could do in the time we had left. So, so what this does is when this accelerometer detects a downward force, it updates the screen and registers it as a step, like this. This has been an amazing experience and I love learning about insoles. I really enjoyed making our work in prototype. However, doing the first section online was difficult. It was a great experience. I loved the practical aspect. So we found a gap in the market where a lot of runners find it really annoying to have a smart watch to run with, as it gets really tiring running with it and is also quite annoying when it rubs against your wrist. However, we also found a gap in your trainers where you can actually fit a microcontroller. <laughs> so that's why we split into two teams, one team focusing on the electronics part of it and the other team working on a physical model. Both of these were backed by brilliant research and detailed research into different market areas and requirements. I hope you enjoyed our video and we present to you our idea, Insole, always a step ahead.